just witnessed some of the most fast-paced video game excitement to hit the screen in a long time. Head-on 2 has arrived. But Gremlin didn't stop building the game there. We knew you wanted more in a video game than just another pretty picture, so we kept building until we had a total game. One with features that save you time and money. Let's take a brief look at the rest of the game and we'll show you what we mean. Let's look inside the game first. Even the operator controls are within quick reach. The volume control and advertising sound on-off switch are just inside the coin door. And in the back, as you can see, we've kept the components and wiring simple. You can easily get at or remove all the major components. We've even made it easier to select the number of cars with which the player starts the game. The small switch on the logic board does it all. Just a flick of the switch quickly changes the number of cars you desire. Now, it's never a time-consuming effort to set any of these controls. While we're inside, let's take a minute to describe the electronics of the game. The parts that put the action on the screen. This is our new Video Interface Chip, or VIC Logic Board. What makes it new? Simple. It's reliability and endurance, and that means lasting power. But should something happen? Finding what's wrong is usually no big problem. There are so many fewer onboard components that it takes much less time to find the solution, and that means a lot less downtime. What else makes your game special? The rugged construction we put into the cabinets so that they withstand plenty of punishment. But we don't stop there. That same durable construction can be found in the player controls as well. And on our new joystick assemblies, we've made them especially shockproof to withstand even the most demanding player. Now, let's look at another built-in feature that is so important in making your game complete, the owner's manual. Briefly, the owner's manual contains the most basic and most technical information about your game, all in one book. From the pages describing game action, to showing you a step-by-step -step maintenance procedure, to a complete set of easy-to-read schematics, the Owner's Manual is your built-in guide to your game. It can help you out of almost any tight spot. And finally, we'd like to demonstrate a new set of game test EEPROMs, which will be available through your distributor soon. If a game should quit working, these test chips could get it back into order, usually right on location. Here's how they work. First, turn off the game using the safety interlock switch on the back. Then, after removing the first game prom, plug in the test prom you desire in that socket. Here we are demonstrating the output test prom. When it is in the socket, turn the game on and observe the display on the screen. As the screen prints the sound type, the corresponding sound should be heard. This test will quickly tell you whether your soundboard or part of your logic circuitry needs repair. The next test prom is the input test. Turn off the game and place it in the same socket as the one before. Turn the game on and look for the display on the screen. The number beside the switch name will change to zero as that switch is activated. This easily tells you if a switch or a part of the logic circuitry is inoperative. Turn off the game again and plug in the prom test. As you can see, this test shows at a glance that all game EEPROMs are okay. If any were bad, the word bad would appear next to that prom number. Finally, the RAM test quickly checks all eight RAM chips, letting you know immediately if the memory is okay and telling you the position of any bad RAMs. With these four test proms, checking your game can be fast and simple, and they're a great time saver since all the tests could be done right on location. What you've been watching about our product is what we're doing at Gremlin to give you more in a video game. We go beyond giving you great new video excitement we go for the best, giving you a whole new game.